my name is Kaylee. I am a visual storyteller and I recently came back from a trip to Virunga National Park. So Virunga National Park have a really good balance between supporting um, the local communities as well as developing conservation. And a great example of this is what they call the Widow's Workshop. And um, what that is, is a small initiative that's very much in the, the starting point and they basically provide alternative livelihoods or ways for the women whose husbands have been killed in armed conflict um, to, to make money. En fait, le projet est là pour soutenir les veuves, parce que leurs maris ont travaillé pour le parc. Alors, on a préféré faire ceci parce que euh, les, les maris ne sont plus là. Alors, dans le cadre de soutenir les veuves et les orphelins laissés par les maris, on a préféré faire ce projet pour, pour les soutenir, pour... Euh, pour aussi favoriser l'autofinancement de, de VEV et de leur famille. So let me tell you that before every activity we have to thank you so much. Uh, because of taking all the risk from your country till here where we are. And where you pay your money, you contribute also to the natural conservation. So you are welcome in Virunga National Park. And the Virunga National Park is large. That's why it's subdivided in three sectors. At our north sector, we have lowland gorillas, even the Lorenzori Massif. At our central, we have elephants, buffaloes, hippos, antelopes, when you pay your man, let me tell you that you contribute also to the natural conservation. Around the park, even the gorillas, uh, your man buy food for rangers, and everything what we wear, and sometimes we have to buy something to the local population. That's why we have to thank you so much, because that man help us so much. I think tourism is a, a really good industry to be able to support local communities but also if it's done right and you can definitely see this in Virunga I think that it, it empowers local people to feel a pride and honor about their local wildlife about their um, their heritage you know those types of things and I mean you can definitely see that in a lot of the park ranges there was this desire to really protect the wildlife that was there and, um, and I think that that's something that's really special. The number is going up yeah, because uh, when we get everything, we have also to work hard for to protect them and look for them every day. A new census conducted from 2014 to 2018 shows a 25% increase in the gorilla population. That's incredible. To see that kind of population growth in such a short period of time is a real conservation success. And it shows that what they're doing in Virunga, well, it's working. And that's just amazing. <laughs>